what's up everyone welcome to another video now in today's video i will show you some of the best nelvin plugins in 2025 um, you know ai plugins stuff like that that you can use within nelvin now one thing that i have to note is if you're on nelvin website you can actually get plugins right here and you can see the trending plugins right so here you can see uh, trending plugins you can also type in ai and as you can see if i hit enter uh, you can actually get the AI. So for example, here you have auto pairs, you have um, Nelvim Lua plugin to automatically manage character pairs. So you have like a lot of different already um, plugins right here. Obviously one plugin that I, uh, or the top plugins right here you can see as well. But one of the plugins that is re really uh, popular is Vim AI. Now Vim AI is a plugin right here, as you can see, that basically adds artificial intelligence capabilities to your Vim and Nelvim. So you can generate code, edit text, you can have like interactive conversations with GPT models. You know, it's also powered by OpenAI's API, which is really great. So uh, yeah, here are some of the features, right? It can generate text or code, answer questions with AI, edit selected text in place with AI, interactive conversations, custom roles, vision capabilities, you have image to text, <clears throat> sorry, and also you have like generate images, integrates with any open AI uh, compatible API, which is really great because you can use the API key from ChatGPT. So that's like one of the plugins, right? Obviously the second plugin is Fuzzy. Now Fuzzy is a finder for file strings. It also helps documents and many other things. Uh, so it basically utilize, utilizes the Vim's native match fuzzy post function, uh, which is basically a function for finding files and pop out window feature, right? So um, it's like out of the box experience by using a pre-installed programs to handle complex tasks. This is how it, how it looks like in the screenshot. Um, and then obviously, as you can see, plugin is written in Vim 9 script. So Vim 9 is required. Now, obviously for this, I did say that, you know, Nelvim is, uh, these are the Nelvim plugins, but Nelvim here is not supported for this particular plugin. Um, so yeah, just make sure you, you kind of know that. Now, second plugin on this list is uh, Vimplug. Uh, now, this is like a intelligent terminal for developers. It's like a minimum, minimalist Vim plugin manager. And also, as you can see, how minimal is design, right? You, it concise intuitive syntax that you can learn within minutes. So again, no boiler paid, uh, plate code required, no feature bloat, um, extremely stable. So again, you can, you know, uh, create shallow clones to minimize disk space usage, download time. Um, you can review and roll back updates, um, post update hooks and stuff like that now. Uh, this is the installation, you just download it and then you can click here to see in the instructions. Um, and as you can see here, you have for Nelvim as well. So that's how you can kind of use it and this is what the plugin is all about. Really useful stuff. Now the next plugin is called Nightfox. Now Nightfox is actually like a highly customizable theme for Vim and Nelvim with support for um, LSP. So um, as you can see, you can have, you have Dayfox, you have Nightfox theme and it's again obviously very simple uh, plugin with you know that you can use for like teams dawn fox as well dusk fox north fox these are all the themes you have this one is my favorite by far and then obviously you know uh, here are some of the features it supports both Wim and Nelvim highly configurable with template overriding colorblind mode support for multiple plugins um, yeah export color library utility as well uh, and you can also have interactive live configuration of reloading. So uh, really great stuff, very simple plugin. Um, and yeah, that's the fourth plugin on this list. Fifth plugin on this list is called Indent. Now this is an interesting one because this plugin adds indentation guides to Nelvim. It uses Nelvim virtual text feature and no conceal. So basically to start using Indent backline, you just call the uh, this uh, IBL setup function. And then the plugin requires the latest stable version of Nelvim. So yeah, make sure you have that. And then obviously, you know, to, you know, go and install the plugin, this is what uh, you need to do. And then here are some of the screenshots, how it does this, as you can see. Um, so this is like a simple screenshot here, scope, right? Scope requires tree sitter to be set up. And as you can see, this is how it looks like. So 
Again, very interesting, very interesting plugins. Uh, I did want to cover other plugins as well. However, these are some of the plugins. As I said, if you go to Nelvim, uh, you would be actually able to get the plugins here and then you can get the new ones as well as the, the top ones. The new ones will probably be more AI driven uh, plugins, some of them, right? Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. And then obviously, if you want, you can obviously um, go and get the weekly newsletter because they're actually sending some new plugins to the newsletter sometimes and you can kind of check that out as well. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it guys for this video. If you have any questions or comments, yeah, definitely comment below and yeah, we'll see you in the in the next video.